Hey guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. So today I'm trying something new and scary. Uh, this is what happens when you can't buy craft supplies for an entire year. You are forced to use the ones that you purchase thinking, oh, I can totally do that. I'm so doing that. So here I am facing my fear and doing all the projects that I wanted to do but haven't had the guts to do yet. And one of them is this um, rag journal that I saw Gail Gustinelli do. She had a whole bunch of scraps just like this. Now mind you, her scraps were a bit bigger and kind of different than mine, but I think I can do the same thing with these. These are the scraps that my mom has been saving for me um, from all her projects that she's made. I think really honestly, yeah, it's probably about a year and a half now that I've had these scraps and uh, it's time I actually go ahead and, and make this journal. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. It may be a win. It may be a bust. We won't know until the end. Let's find out. So I have this big basket full of little scrap bits. I'm going to call mine a scrap cover journal. And then I also have some fabric here that she let me take. This is, um, I guess it's vintage fabric now, uh, considered vintage. It's from the 80s, so 80s or 90s, so uh, apparently that's vintage now, I guess. I don't know. I feel awfully old. Um, and then I also have some of this stuff here. This is, uh, it's actually embroidery stabilizer, but it's dissolvable. So that means that you can use it and then when you put it under water, it will dissolve away. So I've gone ahead and cut out these pieces. I've cut this piece to be about 12 by 9 inches because that is basically the size of a standard um, letter, letter size paper that I like to use when I'm doing my journals, uh, just, you know, a regular size of paper that I don't have to cut anything down and really like think too much, right? And then this stabilizer I cut just to be a little bit bigger, just in case. You never know. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put this out of the way just so I don't get it wet for any reason at all. You never know. I have a glass of water here, so things could go awry. So I'm setting that off to the side. Now with this, what I want to do is I am going to keep this inside bit. I think that would be a really cool inside bit for a journal. So let's flip it over so that the wrong side is up. Okay, and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to put down our scraps and we kind of want to just really put them down willy-nilly, but at the same time I also want, you know, if, if they have like a right side, I kind of want those pieces, oops, I got stuff falling all over here, um, I want these pieces to... Um, Kind of be right side up as well. So I'm just going to cut some of these down. That might be to my benefit or dismay. I'm not sure yet. But we'll just kind of throw a bunch of these down and we'll see what happens. So this is white. That's not very interesting. But this, I think, we will kind of cut down and see what happens. So I hope everyone's doing well and that you find yourself in your crafty space today. I have had kind of an interesting week. It was my first week back at work. Uh, that's a skull. I don't really want a skull. Uh, yeah, so I had my first week back at work and my goodness, of course, what could go wrong did go wrong. Uh, lots of deadlines, but I managed it fairly well, so I'm rather proud of myself. I didn't have a meltdown, which is good. And yeah, and I had my first softball game, which I surprisingly did much better than I thought. So all in all, I'm going to chalk that week up to a win. And I'm here in my happy place, so that can't be too bad, right? Okay, so literally just, let's just throw a whole bunch of these down. It's going to be a mishmash. We're not sure how this is going to turn out. We'll just, we're just trying to make it look pretty. Now Gail's pieces were almost triangular in nature. Um, she also got them from her quilting friends. Like a lot of hers looked like this or bigger. 
ours are not because my mom literally uses every inch that she possibly can and then what she can't I try to use so let's see because some of these I mean this would work great as a tag topper right that would be a fun tag topper so yeah anyways let's let's see what we can do here I'm just gonna have have a fun type of journal I don't know like I said it could be a bust but we'll never know unless we try so let's just pile these kind of all on I don't know if I'm going to cut them down anymore I think the more random the better I don't know well, these ones might be a little a little big let's try putting some of these I just I kind of want a little bit of a composition when I'm doing this because we want that eye to travel I think I need to let's take some of these blue bits out and we'll use those to kind of anchor our eyes maybe maybe that will be a better plan take that one and we'll just some pieces hanging off over the edge is fine that's doesn't bother me at all kind of want it to be that raggy look I don't know it looks like a hot mess so again I don't want the skull and I'll just throw these about making sure I have stuff kind of coming to each edge and corner so yeah what have you guys been up to are you working on anything interesting as I said in my last video I am kind of in crunch mode now to make sure I have enough stuff for my upcoming craft fair in November and I know that seems like a long way away but it's going to be here before I know it summer is already flying by way too fast for me so I need to get my butt in gear and get things sorted so I'll get a bunch of journal covers made and then that way when I'm working on ephemera I can make ephemera for each journal. I can make multiples of things and that'll just make it go I think a lot faster. I don't know we'll see. We'll see if these are too small or not. Kate I don't want you little skull. I'm not enjoying that. It's a great color but just I'm not feeling the skull. Looks like she had some really cool fabrics that she was playing with. Kind of forgot about some of them. Ooh, this one's kind of definitely 80s vibes. I'm pretty sure I had a pair of shorts made out of this stuff when I was a kid. So this is just the surging bit that she had. But it'll work. Let's cut it down and make use of it. I don't want it going in the landfill. That's what I love about this craft or this art is that um, you know we're we're stopping so many things from heading to the landfill we're making something cool and useful out of it I don't know I don't know if this is going to work you guys I'm just going to pray for the best and sorry if that snipping is really loud or me putting it down on the on my table is loud because it's right on my glass mat but can't be helped. Okay, I wonder if I should have separated these before, maybe separated them out into colors. I don't know. I don't know if that was would be really worth it or not. Kind of like the messy look. Why not? Let's do messy. So we've got some greens. Some greens around, some white. Hmm. Not a lot of white. I don't want too much white. I want color. Got some yellow. Put that up over there. And I want it to be like fluffy, if that makes sense. I want it to have that poofy kind of feeling to it. Um, what else do I have? I could probably put some of these down now. Maybe one kind of here. One 
over here. Kind of want this green maybe on the corner. Like so. It's kind of fiddly. So I might end up fast forwarding this for you guys because I don't think you want to be here all day watching me try to put these little pieces together. Okay, I think I have got this kind of where I want it. So the next thing I need to do is find my pins. And I have those somewhere close by. Aha. I do. So just some sewing pins. And I need to bring back my um, dissolvable embroidery stabilizer. I believe I got mine at Amazon and it's a big roll that it came on. And so now what I want to do is I've laid that over top. Now what I want to do is just kind of pin around the edges so let's give this a go. Okay, well, I have it all sandwiched in between here. Um, yeah, I think, I think the stuff that Gail had was more fabric-y, where this stuff is more like plastic. So I would probably recommend that if you're going to try this and going to purchase some uh, embroidery stabilizer, that you see if you can find something that's more fabric-y as opposed to plasticky. Like this has really got a plastic feel to it. And I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna work guys, but we're gonna go give it a go. So basically what I want to do now is take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew all the way around. And then I'm just going to sew willy-nilly all over, just trying to catch as many pieces as I can. Um, now, I'm not going to be able to show that part on camera only because you're not going to be able to see. Um, I just don't have the camera angles for you to actually see that. But I want to keep this as flat as possible as I'm moving it around so nothing shifts. You can always put some pins in the middle here too, and I might go ahead and do that. But yeah, we're just gonna do the best. And I think if I keep it as flat as possible, I should be okay and nothing will, will shift too much. So, all right, I'm gonna pause you here. Fingers crossed that everything works well for me, guys. I'll be back in a snap. Okay, I am back and I have sewn everything down and it, that was not an easy feat you guys the plastic kept getting caught on my feeder foot or on my um, presser foot feeder foot my presser foot and um, I really had to kind of like really pull it through sometimes just because of the thickness that I had going on and it looks like it's kind of shrunk in size and I'm gonna show you the back the back is nothing that I am going to want people to see let me tell you 
So this is the back. Again, I did it willy-nilly kind of this way, and then the same kind of thing. I tried, I tried to move it back and forth as much as I could each way. It was just really, really difficult, and it's kind of puckered up. Um, I don't know. I don't, this might be a loss, guys. I definitely don't want to show this side to anybody, uh, that's for sure. So I would probably end up gluing this down on something if this works out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to soak this and have this stuff come all off. And we'll see how much of the fabric we lose, if there's any bare spots. Again, this is my first time, so I don't want to discount it completely. I mean, there's got to be better ways. I'm sure, Mama Bear, if you're watching, you're going to help me out with this to, to help uh, me figure out a better way to do this. But yeah, let me go off camera. Uh, I should probably make some dinner for the, for the family while I'm up there soaking this. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like after this has all come off. And we'll kind of take stock then and see how it worked out. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, so I am back and it did not take long at all for that, um, what do we call it, stabilizer to come off or to dissolve. It happened really quickly in the warm water. I just did it in the sink in my bathroom and I actually kind of like this. It didn't turn out bad and I didn't lose very many uh, pieces of fabric, like just uh, probably three. Um, I may, I don't know, I may lose some more here if I play with it like this. I don't know, but it's still wet, so I'm going to let it dry. Uh, it seems to have flattened out a whole lot more since I took that, or that stabilizer came off. There's a little bit of puckering here. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. I think it's going to be kind of, kind of cute. It, I think it did shrink a bit, though. Yeah, it definitely shrunk. So, because this was 12, I had this about 12 inches. So, yeah, it's still nine inches, but it, it seems like it shrunk this way. Because now it is nine by, nine by 11. So I might have to trim my papers just a wee bit, but again, that's okay. I'm gonna give this a go. We'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, well, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll just catch you on the next one. And P.S. I love you.